Hey, Patrick, um, as best as you can, can you just try to explain what this week has been like for you? And, and can you also tell us just where you are in the concussion protocol process, if you're out or if you're, if you're still in it? Yeah, I actually uh, just got out of the protocol. Um, the week has just been uh, a bunch of testing, a bunch of uh, different things, just to make sure that, I, that I'm, I'm good to go and there's no lingering effects and anything like that. Um, but everything's been good, and I've, I've went through what all the uh, three, four different doctors have said, uh, and everything's looked, looked well, and I'm out of it now. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Patrick. Um, I'm wondering if you could take us back to the moment that that happened. I mean, what was the feeling like and what was the, the immediate aftermath like for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, we had an option play call that we had ran a little bit earlier in the game. Uh, I ran it out to the right, um, obviously got hit, uh, tried to get up, felt my legs go out, uh, knew that wasn't a good thing. Uh, so uh, I was able to get grabbed. I remember before going off the field, I was telling uh, – I was telling the guys, the the trainers, to let me stay there so Chad could warm up. I knew that we were about to go for on that fourth down. Um, then I went and uh, went to the, the the testing and everything like that. Let's go next to Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Hi, Patrick. It's so good Hello. to see you. <laughs> Can you tell me just the attitude you've had that nothing was going to let you miss the AFC championship game, that determination that we know you so well for? Yeah, I mean, you want to be out there, um, but you have to you have to go through the protocol and you have to do everything the right way. I mean, uh, you have to look at it long term as much as you look at it short term. And uh, with with going to the doctors, talking to all the doctors, and going through the testing, uh, we we have the belief that I, that this will be no no lingering effects, and that I'll be able to go out there and be myself and be who I am every single week. Let's go next to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Patrick, we've heard what you said in the past about Eric being me, but now that kind of the coaching cycle is coming and going, I'm curious what your thoughts on on him possibly being passed up for a coaching position again. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 kind of uh, it's 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 crazy. I guess would be the best word to to describe it. I mean, uh, to see the stuff that comes out and then knowing the man that he is and the coach that he is every single day, um, you you don't understand where the stuff comes from. Uh, you understand how how great of a coach he is, how great of a person he is how great of a leader he is. Um, and so uh, it's crazy that he hasn't got his chance to become a head coach, but I promise you he'll keep grinding and keep getting better and better and keep, keep helping us out, uh, which is the positive at the end of the day, and hopefully help us uh, continue to go to these AFC Championship games and go into, uh, go into more Super Bowls. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Brad, right, I'll just have one quick thing after this. Um, Patrick, uh, in covering you the past couple of years, I mean, it, it's been pretty clear that you're like, you know, ultra competitive. You you want to be out there. How difficult was this week with the biggest game of the season coming up to not be able to do certain things? You just have to you have to take it day by day. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you can only control what you what you can control. And for me, that was coming in every single day with a positive attitude, trying to make myself better, prepare myself as if I was going to play. Um, and and luckily enough, I haven't had any symptoms and I'm able to play. Um, and so uh, I just I just prepared myself and control what I could control. Uh, and uh, uh, luckily enough, we're at where we're at now. And then just the other thing, it looked like you were a little bit hindered by your toe in that last game. I was wondering how you're feeling in that regard. It's going a lot better. I mean, uh, uh, the next day was very sore. And then every single day since then has, has, has gotten a lot better. And uh, it's, stuff, it's stuff that you, you deal with with being a football player as you deal with injuries. And uh, luckily enough for me, this it wasn't as bad as it looked uh, and it felt that, that day of and that day after. Got time for a couple more. We'll go Harold and then Seren. Go ahead, Harold. Patrick, glad you're feeling better, man. Uh, when it comes down to just preparing for the Bills, I know so much talk, talk has been about concussion protocol, but what have you actually seen out of the Bills that is uh, different what what you faced in week six? Yeah, I mean, even when we faced them in week six, that's a good, that was a really good football team, and uh, they've continued to get better and better each and every week. And that's what you – when you're at this point of the season, you're playing great football teams. And so uh, they have great players at every single level uh, on their defense. Obviously, they have a tremendous offense. And uh, we expect them to, to come out and uh, be aggressive at, like they've been playing the last few weeks. And so we'll be prepared for uh, whatever they show us and try to counteract that with uh, our best foot forward and try to find a way to win a football game. We'll go last to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, Patrick, the the Texans job is still out there. This is in reference to your what you said about Eric Bieniemy, Coach Bieniemy. There's reports that uh, Deshaun Watson has said Eric Bieniemy is a guy he would like to have. I know you the quarterback club is a pretty tight group. Uh, have you spoken with Deshaun? Will you speak with Deshaun? Is it something uh, that that you'd have an interest in doing? Yeah, I I talked to him uh, last off season. It's kind of during the season you don't talk to those guys as much because obviously you're trying to go out there and win football games. Um, but uh, 
Uh, maybe after the season, I might shoot him a text or something like that. But uh, I kind of let let that stuff kind of handle itself. Uh, I know Coach Bienemy, uh would does done everything the right way and prepared himself to to take whatever opportunity that is. Um, and if it happens, I, I'm very happy for him. If it doesn't, um, continue he'll continue to grind and and be a great offense coordinator for us. So. Uh, I'm just I'm just happy that he's getting these opportunities to go out there and interview, and hopefully one of these teams will be uh, smart enough to take him and to be the head coach of their football team. Patrick, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining.